this is like my first video and I do not look right for my first review because I'm in pajamas but yeah today I'm going to show you my time collection as you can see a little bit well I have a lot so I'm going to be like pausing and showing you so let's just go for the first one so this is the first one I'm like try to I named this one Defendant's Slime because it's like purple and it has the sun its colors, different different glitter. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's really, really pokeable. So that's that one. Next we have this blindfolded slime. I made this one when I was blindfolded. The top gets really hard, I have no idea why, and it gets really bubbly, but then the bottom is like so soft and stretchy. So like I have to really mix this. And then it's like really pokeable. It's loud poking and it's really, really glossy. So it was turquoise. I had no idea what paint I was doing. Well actually I did. I was picking the colors and my grandma stitched everything for me. I made a lively about this, but some of y'all don't even know me on lively. So that's that one. Now I have these two same containers, but not same slime. So here's the first slime. It was an ombre. It was different colors, and it faded into it, just like, just like this one. But I'm, I might not be mixing this one until I don't know. But this one's like a really, really glossy purple. It's like super soft. And this one's pokeable too. I'm only going to be showing you me stretching them because I'm not going to keep on moving the camera and all You can still hear it fucking sucks. So, that's that slime. Now we have my pom pom slime that I made. And I got these containers from 99 cents store. They have really cute ones. So, this is my pom pom slime. It has pom-poms in it, of course. This one's kind of hard because of the pom-pom. So I have to take out like these kind of medium ones. They're all dried up. Put the slime in it. And I also took out the large ones, so I only have like small ones. So, yeah. It's actually really crunchy. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. My phone um, had water in it. It got water. Like, in the speaker. So you can't really see it. But... Now I'm showing you these three. First I'll show you my vanilla bean one. So it's white and it has black glitter. And it's like super super jiggly. I don't know if we can see it jiggle. Can you see it jiggle? Okay, I'm gonna try that. Hopefully y'all can see it jiggle, but yeah. So that's that one. Now we have this one, which I have no idea what to call it. Look at those bubbles. Look. This one's not like vanilla bean one. It's not jiggly, but it's pretty big and pretty soft. I have no idea what to call it. It's light blue with different blue glitters. It's a dark blue, a turquoise blue, and silver. So I have no idea what to call this. I just made it because I thought it would be really pretty. But yeah, now we have this one, which I don't know what to call either, so I call it. I have no idea. So it's a really light pink. I don't know. You can't really see the colors right. I don't know, it's just my fault. And it's a really bright pink with a little bit of purple. And it has blue sparkles pink sparkles and purple sparkles this one's not really one of my favorites but I just don't feel like throwing it away okay now I have one in this butter thing I was gonna think about putting butter slime in it but then I just didn't have enough time to buy it butter stuff but I just have this all of my glitter slime so I put literally all of my glitters you can't really catch up how pretty it is. okay 
water or whatever. Most of these slimes smell like pool water. So it's not that fuckable. The glitter does kind of come off easily, but not as easy as other ones do. Um, now we have these three. I'm gonna try hers. These always have bubbles on top, and they never stick to me. They're not sticky, so. Hopefully I will be able to hear that hopefully because my phone is just crazy. It's like really, really soft and thin. And then I don't know what to call this one either. So please give me some ideas. Let's call this one. Now we have this other purple one. I don't know if I should call it Descendant 2 because it actually has more different color glitters. So, should I call it Descendant 2? I think I am going to call it Descendant 2 because they made it Descendant 2. They have a Descendant 1, now they made Descendant 2. Now, I'm not obsessed with Descendants, but it actually looks like Descendants. I don't know what to call this one either. Should I just call it 2 Tsunami? And not ocean, because I already have an ocean slime. So this is kind of like a fluffy slime. It's a really dark blue. Not too dark. Kind of has like a turquoise. And it has pink glitter, purple glitter, blue glitter, dark blue glitter, and silver. This isn't one of my favorites either, because when you keep on stretching it, it kind of gets a little tough, but it doesn't really rip. Yeah, now we have my smoothie slime for only glitter slimes and clear glue. So, the glitter mostly sinks to the bottom. This is the bottom. I just flipped it. Yeah. It's not that jiggly either. This isn't one of my favorites either, but... Oh well. So, I just call it my glitter smoothie slime. I don't really need a name for that one. Um, now we have my ocean slime. So this is a really, really, really dark blue. And it has bubbles always on top because it's a fluffy slime. Then on the bottom it has these beads or chunky glitter or something. I don't know. That's like... It's kind of like fluffy slime, and it's dark blue, but then it has a weird texture instead of fluffy slime. It's actually really stretching, as you see. But, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Now I have this big container with a little bit of slime. I just, this is another smoothie slime, but not with clear glue at all. So that's foam on top, and nothing on the bottom except for glitter. That was kind of hard and I don't really like it. But. Yep. Okay, so I did find a new angle to put it in. But yeah. Now we have this one, which is in a wipey box. Let me just open it up. Okay, so this is it. I just keep it in here because I ran out of containers. I might switch it with the big container. I don't know. This one smells pretty good, but at the same time, it kind of has a spool smell, like the Clorox spool. But yeah, next one. Now we have this one, which is, I have no idea, it's a really lavender, lavender purple with dark blue. I don't know if I should call it blueberries and grape bowl. I don't know. This one's kind of tough, but it still kind of stretches. But this isn't one of my favorites either. I have these three. We have a rose gold, a strawberry jam, and a pinkie pie slime. Okay, so this is the pinkie pie slime. Um, it's a really light pink with blue glitters and dark pink glitter
Now we have the strawberry jam. So I didn't get really get everything. Okay, so this is my strawberry jam. It's with clear glue. It's kind of foggy because I play with it a lot. So and it's a paint. So I just decided to name it uh, strawberry jam because it actually kind of looks like strawberry jam and it has a really good jelly-like texture. But yeah, next slime. Now we have a rose gold slime. So this is my rose gold slime. It's like almost my most favorite slime. But it's a clear glue one with rose gold glitter and fairy dust glitter. It is so pretty, guys. Like, And it's so soft for a clear glue. And this is the container. I didn't really get everything out. It's still foggy. It's okay. But it's not as much. But, yeah. I have all of these. And I just fast. Well, not fast forward. I just, like, keep on going. So this is my first one in this container. I got these containers from Walmart for $1. It's a clear glue, but it's not really that good because I put lotion. With different color glitter. Now we have my grapefruit juice. It's a grapefruit color. And it's clear glue and it's kind of act it's jiggly actually. It's not that soakable. It kind of actually rips easy. But it's a like good texture still. Most of these signs that are going to come in here um, will have these containers because I got them off from Walmart and I mostly got all the colors. Yeah. Now this is grapefruit pudding or grapefruit um, yogurt, but I suggest grapefruit pudding. It's a really good pudding texture. Uh, it's actually a ten, uh, grapefruit color or I don't know what other fruit does this look like. Not orange. Because I'm not looking for any orange. Because I already have orange pudding. Yes. Now we have the Christmas slime. It's a green texture. I mean, it's green. Green texture. What? It's green. And it has red glitters and green glitter. This is not that much of my favorite. Oh. Now I have the last one in this container, which is a blue mermaid slime. It's a clear glue, but then I put lotion. Because just the water wouldn't make it any softer. And this is the last one in this container. We have three more. I'm just going to show you my big batch of slime. This is actually almost, it almost became a fell, but it just became a jiggly slime. I don't know if you can see the jiggle. It's not really pokeable because the top always gets hard and I'm, uh, I'm thinking about putting lotion in it so that I won't ever have a hard surface. It's really, really big actually. Not that big, but big enough for this white deep. Now we have my, this slime I'm not going to be poking at all, but I have one more here he was actually holding it off okay so the bottom will always have crunchy glitter or sequins in it it's really really soft because I put another slime in there my, my lighting is just really bad it looks blue but it's not. kind of like a weird texture slime but yeah um that's my last slime and i hope you guys like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah see you guys in my next video if i make one